the legend of mortal cultivation of immortality, even if Yang Yang plays Han Li, but the actor Nang Guang makes me feel mixed. In recent years, IPTV series adapted from fantasy novels have emerged one after another. The most familiar ones are Dalro Dalu and Fights Break in the Sky. The drama version of Dalro Dalu premiered on February 5, 2021. Although it features the ultimate Xiaozan Tang San as the protagonist, the results are somewhat unsatisfactory, with a dub and score of only 6.4. But this is pretty good. If you don't believe me, if you look at the TV series version of Fights Beyond the Sphere and the movie version of Fights Beyond the Sphere, you will find that there is no smallest, only smaller. The male protagonist in the drama version of Fights Break the Sphere is played by Wu Lei. Although he portrayed Xiao Yan's childishness, unfortunately the plot, special effects and fighting were all very clumsy, resulting in a low rating of 4.4. The movie version of Fighter is even more outrageous. Due to the length of the film, the running time is only 93 minutes. This caused the original Grand World View to change beyond recognition. The dub and score is even lower than the drama version, only 3.5 points. In addition to Xiao Yang getting a new nickname for this movie, Rhinitis, the second season of the show The Return of the Boy Who Breaks the Sky is currently being aired, but judging from the current ratings, the results are not much better. Following the IP adaptation of Jolo Dapo, another TV series adapted from fantasy fairy tales has been finalized. It's the story of mortals cultivating immortality. The original novel was written by online writer Wang Gaiyu. However, when I saw the cast, I understood what it meant to have mixed feelings. 1. Yang Yang plays Han Li. As we all know, Yang Yang is famous for his handsome appearance in the entertainment industry. Three-dimensional facial features, high nose bridge, sword eyebrows, fair skin. How about Han Li in the movie Immortal's Journey to Immortality? Two words to describe it are dark skin and ordinary appearance. This is how he is described in the original work. Han Li's appearance is very unremarkable, his skin is dark, and he looks like an ordinary farm boy. This is certainly a description of him as a child. When he grew up, he was much the same, with dark skin and ordinary appearance. So judging from looks alone, Yang Yang is not suitable for the role of Han Li. When I saw the male protagonist Han Li played by Yang Yang in the drama version of A Mortal's Journey to Immortality, I could only sigh. This Han Li is so handsome. However, I think it's unfair to judge someone's suitability for a role based solely on appearance. So I analyzed Han Li's character. There is a sentence in the original work that describes Han Li like this. Han Li frowned and realized something was wrong, so he retreated behind everyone. From this sentence, we can analyze that Han Li's character is cautious. But what about Ji Yang Yang? Judging from the roles he plays, whether it is Zion I and A Little Smile is alluring or you two and you are my glory, they are not cautious people. Therefore, Han Li, played by Yang Yang, is undoubtedly crossing the river by feeling for the stones. I think such challenges are uncertain. So from this point of view, Yang Yang is still not suitable for the role of the male protagonist Han Li. But Yang Yang looks a lot like the comic version of Han Li's The Story of Immortal Cultivating Immortality. From the perspective of first impression, it is not impossible for Yang Yang to play Han Li. After all, it was the cartoon version first. 2. Jin Chen plays Nang Guang Wan. Nang Guang Wan is the heroine in the movie The Story of Immortal Cultivating Immortality. The first time I met Han Li was during the blood test. At that time, Han Li needed to refine an elixir, and the ingredients for this elixir were only available in the blood trial, so Han Li signed up. Unexpectedly, he met Nang Gong Wan who also came to observe the trial. However, at this time, Nang Gong Wan was already a strong man in the pill formation stage. With his strength, he can be considered to be in the key refining stage. After bidding farewell to Han Li in a hurry, Nang Gong Wan returned to the sect. Jin Chen plays the hero in Nang Gong Wan in the drama version of A Mortal's Journey to Immortality. But when I saw Nang Gong Wan played by Jin Chen, my mood became inexplicably complicated. She was beautiful, but there was always something strange about her, a pointed chin and a pointed nose. It may also be that too much technique and hard work has been done, making the entire face look uncoordinated. In the original work, Nang Gong Wan is a famous beauty. Is Jin Chen's performance a bit sloppy this time? In conclusion, to be honest, there are too many bad TV series adaptations of fantasy novels nowadays. I sincerely hope that this TV version of Mortal Cultivation of Immortality will be a great success. But just looking at the casting is unsettling. Jin Chen's acting skills are beyond praise. In the movie All or Nothing, 
Jin Chen's role as Anna received unanimous praise. However, this time the portrayal of the heroine Nang Gong Wan was a little too hasty. At present, the TV series version of the story of Immortal Cultivating Immortality is ready. Let's wait and see if it becomes a huge success. Thank you.